welcome to Make Change Fun and Easy with your happiness expert, Samia Bano. This is the podcast to help change makers, coaches, trainers, and healers break your chains of fear so you can create the impact and income you desire with fun and ease. Please make sure you subscribe to enjoy every episode. This podcast is sponsored by the Happiness 101 program. Hello, salam, shalom, satsriyakal, namaste, aloha. If you don't know me already, my name is Samia Bano. I'm your happiness expert and author of the book, Make Change Fun and Easy. And the subtitle is How to Create inner peace to world peace in three simple steps. So that's what I'm all about. I am committed to cultivating inner peace and happiness for myself and helping others to do the same, helping you to do the same. And I figured that, you know, this topic is such a fabulous topic. It's like the one I love to talk about the most. But not everyone has the time and the inclination to actually read a book anymore. (laughs) So what I'm going to do is break it down into tiny pieces, like all the most important, amazing lessons that I share in the book. I'm going to share them during these live broadcasts. And I'll even go deeper than I went in the book. Because guess what? Since I wrote this book... A few years ago, I have been continuing to learn and grow and become even wiser in the ways of how to make change fun and easy. Okay, so I thought today um, I would focus on one of the keys to make change fun and easy, and that is how to stay relaxed even in the face of adversity okay all right so you can imagine any kind of situation that's maybe really difficult for you uh, to deal with in your life that's what we're talking about when we say how to stay calm in the fa- and relax in the face of adversity this is, this is something that's going to apply to any situation okay where you're feeling not calm and not relaxed and not happy and so forth. So there are actually, uh, there's a saying that I want to share with you. Uh, It's sort of like inspiring the content of our talk today. So this is actually a quote from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And In this quote, the Prophet Muhammad says, Wondrous is the affair of the believer, for there is good for the believer in every matter. And this is not the case with anyone except the believer. If the believer is happy, then they thank God and thus there is good in the situation for them and if the believer is harmed and the believer shows patience and thus there is good in the situation for them so this actually the saying is actually very deep and i could talk for an hour just elucidating the finer points uh, at the depth of wisdom that's contained in this, but I'm not going to do that. My goal this time is to be just a few minutes, just a few minutes in length. Okay, so let me uh, quickly read through the saying again, and then I will elucidate only one part of it today, and then we will do the rest of it in future podcasts all right sound good okay so the saying is wondrous is the affair of the believer for there is good for the believer in every matter and this is not the case with anyone except the believer 
if the believer is happy then they thank Allah and there is thus good in the situation for them and if the believer is harmed then they show patience and thus there is good in the situation for them okay so the part that I really want to focus on today as the first key uh, for us to talk about is the idea that in every matter in every matter there is good for the believer but you know what uh, we'll get more into well believer believer of what believer of who what we'll get into that later but for right now just notice that this saying is encouraging us to take on a perspective that says you know what no matter what the circumstances there's good in it for me right and think about how key that is how key that kind of a perspective is if you are going to be able to stay calm and relaxed in the face of adversity I mean, if you think a situation is bad, if a situation is difficult, if you think it's stressful, then of course you're going to feel stressed. You're going to feel bad. You're not going to be able to be calm and relaxed in a, in, in that situation because it's bad, because it's stressful, right? Hey, thanks for tuning into this episode. Hope you're getting value out of it. For your information, this episode has been sponsored by the Happiness 101 program. Are you a change maker, coach, trainer, or healer? Are chains of fear holding you back from making the impact and income you desire? Using a unique combination of positive psychology and the spiritual wisdom of our most effective change makers, the Happiness 101 program helps you break through your limiting beliefs and manifest the abundance and success you desire with fun and ease. Interested? Book a free Happiness 101 exploration call with me, your happiness expert, Samia Vano. Just use my online calendar link in the show notes. Now back to the show. So you have to change your perspective on the situation. Uh, you have to actually let go of your judgment uh, uh, of the situation being bad. You know, actually, that's the key, you know, so you have to learn to let go of your judgments of whatever the circumstance you may be in. Stop judging them. Stop judging those circumstances as good or bad. Don't even judge it as 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 good, really, uh, you know, although because if you if you allow yourself to judge things, <laughs> at all in terms of good and bad there will be times you'll judge things to be good situations to be good but then there will be other times when you will judge that circumstances or those situations are bad so really the goal is to stop that kind of judgmental thinking and i'll give you an analogy okay so I, I, as I mentioned, I'm your happiness expert. So my primary um, focus in my work is actually to start by helping people cultivate inner peace. Because until you have inner peace, you really can't um, effectively begin to cultivate and create world peace. Okay. So when we're talking about cultivating inner peace, Think about what disturbs your inner peace. I'll tell you, for me, one of the things that really disturbed my inner peace was how I judged myself. Uh, you know, I blamed myself, I shamed myself. 
and you know i've shared if you know me you know i've shared in the past that i'm a survivor of child sexual abuse so i actually had a very very intense challenge when it came to how much i blamed and shamed myself it caused a lot of of suffering and 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 magnified my trauma fold because even before i told anyone like for so many years i didn't even tell anyone uh, about having experienced like abuse because i was too afraid that if i told people that i was you know abused that they would actually blame me and and say it was my fault and why did i think that because i thought that about me i thought it was my fault that i got abused because i did not um you know take action enough action to stop the abuse from happening or you know that i i did something to attract attention to myself so that the person you know was tempted to abuse me or whatever you know these crazy crazy thoughts of blame and judgment um that I had so you know i know that when it came to my relationship with myself my tendency to blame and judge myself was a huge obstacle in my path to being able to have a re- loving relationship with myself now think about interpersonal relationships right because if i want to live with inner peace it's like i can't exist in a bubble i don't exist in a bubble do i no so the relationships that i have with other people in my life if they are not healthy if they are not happy then i also you know cannot be healthy and happy and peaceful in my life as a whole so it's very important that i have healthy happy relationships but guess what when we are striving to have healthy happy relationships uh, in our uh, in our life if we the extent i would say the extent to which we blame and judge and shame the other people in our lives that's the extent to which our relationships are not peaceful and happy true or true right i mean <laughs> It's like how can you be feeling peaceful and happy with in the company of someone that you think is bad, doing bad things? You know, if you're judging them, if you're criticizing them, shaming them, blaming them, etc. So when you are judging other people, then your relationships with other people can't be happy. And turns out you know what this saying of the prophet muhammad is cluing us in on is that if you want to have a more healthy relationship with the circumstances of your life with the results that emerge in your life then you need to let go of your judgments of those circumstances and results also so just as you know in order to have a more healthy relationship with myself or with other people i need to instead of blame and judgment and shame i need to cultivate empathy and compassion right so in this case when i want to improve my relationship with my circumstances my mindset around my circumstances well what do i cultivate instead of blame and shame and judgment well the the saying gives us those clues right talks about gratitude and patience so well yes okay so we'll talk about those keys of practicing gratitude and patience in the face of adversity next time but for today just just get this in your mind just just really hone in on this idea that you need to stop judging the circumstances of your life as good or bad So whatever the circumstance you are in if your purpose if your goal is to create as much 
peace and happiness for yourself and others around you then you have to stop judging that situation as bad okay and so uh there is another saying that i want to share with you and this one this is a quote i believe by john adams so john adams uh says that every problem is an opportunity in disguise every problem is an opportunity in disguise right so this gives you a way of like how do i stop judging situations as bad circumstances as bad well think about how every problem is an opportunity in disguise what's that hidden opportunity uh in your current circumstances that are bothering you you know and so when you begin to shift your mindset and think about that opportunity uh about the good that is there in that situation for you or that you can create in that situation for you that is when you see your you'll be able to get to that place of feeling more calm and relaxed right because guess what if this is not a bad situation it's just an opportunity right it's just an opportunity to create some positive change then why would you be freaking out why would you be worried right <laughs> you have no reason left to feel stressed and so forth so this is the first key to maintaining your calm and relaxed uh uh way of uh feeling and being even in the face of adversity